What's up, Navigation Traders? Welcome to today's update. Today is Thursday, January 30th. Haven't done a Trade Hacker update in a couple days. We've been a little bit busy. Just rolled out our newest strategy class. So if you did not attend, we did that on Tuesday Live. The recording is now available for pro members. It's in the membership area. We will be editing that down to more digestible sections like our other strategy courses. But at this point, the raw recording is available. So if you want to check that out, and just to kind of give you an idea of, of what that was about, it, it's really like we call it the portfolio bunker. So it's a strategy designed to protect your portfolio from disaster. So essentially what will happen is, is if the market were to rebound and continue higher, you're going to lose little to zero. Uh, it's going to be pretty flat. But if the market really tanks, you're going to really make out on this strategy, which which could potentially protect a lot of your other positions. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. Got a lot of good feedback from everybody. I think everybody enjoyed it. It's a great strategy that we've been trading for some time now. And, you know, we never know when the next black swan event is going to come. We never know when the next market correction is going to come. But now is the time to start getting prepared for that because it will come at some point. So check that out if you have not already. So what's going on in the markets? And I'm going to recap going back a couple of days here because we took a little bit of a break. But basically, I mean, if you look at today, I mean, the S&P was down about 30 earlier and it's rallied all the way back up today. So now it's basically flat. See, the NASDAQ is up a little bit. Oil was down about two and a half percent. It brought back some of those gains. Gold up a little bit. Natty gas down. Natty gas just continues to have nice big wide swings, mostly to the downside recently. And then as far as different stocks go, so we had a lot of earnings announcements popping off. Starting on the 28th, Apple, which is fairly muted. We did a earnings iron duck in Apple, took a little bit of profits there. AMD announced. We did not make a trade here, but it uh, it came down and, and now it looks like it's rebounding. What else was there? eBay. eBay announced on the 28th, our favorite auction site. And so you can see it had a little bit of a down move after earnings, and it also is rebounding today. Starbucks, your favorite coffee place, uh, on a little bit of a downward spin there. Boeing, which has been in the news a lot for their Max, pretty muted, pretty muted earnings announcement as far as the overall price movement goes. MasterCard, MasterCard fairly muted as well. Uh, McDonald's, McDonald's continues to climb even after its earnings announcement. Facebook is the one that got hit. It's down quite a bit, and, and they announced after the market closed yesterday on the 29th. If you look at Facebook, Facebook's down 6% at this point. It's come back a little bit from its lows. We'll see what happens there. Microsoft, MSFT. It's up after its earnings announcement. PayPal, well, it, it started off down and now it's pretty flat on the day after their announcement. Tesla is one, another one that we took a position on. We did a, a reverse iron duck. It's up about 10% at this point. Yeah, 11%. And so we're actually pretty close to our break-even point to the upside. We did a reverse iron duck. So we need price just to hang out right here, not go any higher. And if we get a little bit of downside into expiration tomorrow, that would be perfect for us. We'd hit a nice little duck head on Tesla. And then after the bell today, we've got Amazon, AMZN. We put on an iron duck in Amazon. So if we've got no risk to the upside and we've got a downside all the way down to about this level. So we'll see what happens in Amazon. Also after the bell, Amgen, Win. Uh, let's look at Win because they've uh, they got hit hard on the coronavirus scare a couple days ago, but they're pretty pretty flat today. Now let's see, it's it's quite, there's a question mark. So oh, it, I guess it looks like their earnings moved till two six. It was showing uh, after the bell today earlier. So sometimes they they change. Caterpillar opens before the market opens tomorrow morning. C A T. So we'll see what happens there. They've been on a little bit of a downhill slide here. So. Did not take a position in Caterpillar. And then next week, big one is Google. And CMG also releases on the 4th. So Google's after the market closes on the 3rd. CMG, Chipotle's on the 4th after the market. 
Also after the market on the 4th is Disney and GILD, just to kind of wrap up some of the notable earnings. So those are, are the different announcements. Some other big movers today, we're seeing UPS down over 6% after they announced earnings. Some other notables, there's one other I wanted to look at. Oh yeah, Facebook I already mentioned. So that's what we got going on. We're going to continue to stay mechanical and do what we do. Everybody have a good evening. We'll talk to you next time.